So then the last thing I wanted to cover today was the interventions. So that's another student monitoring feature that we didn't have time for last week. So that would be under this purple student monitoring section, um, intervention strategies. So the intervention strategies, you can add them directly from this screen here, um, or you can add them from the class profile or the gradebook overview, anywhere where you see this orange plus button, you can add the interventions directly here. Um, and you also have this option here, kind of similar to the message parents, where if you were to select students, you can um, add interventions from them that way as well. So there's a few different options of um, how you want to identify students um, that would need an intervention. So if you were looking at the class profile and you wanted to add an intervention strategy, let's say for students that had um, a certain number of absences or who were under kind of below standard on the report card or EQAO, you can add them, you can filter the student profile on any of those um, and then add, add an intervention for all, any of the relevant students. You can also use the student tracker group. So if you've um, created any student tracking groups for students that should be, um, that are considered at risk or should be monitored, you can filter your class list based on those. Um, and then in the group profile as well, if you wanted to add, um, if you were to create a group and you wanted to add interventions for all students in that group, it would work the same way as the class profile where um, you can select all and then add an intervention. So the way the interventions work, I'll just select one student as an example. And this inf intervention um, pop-up will look the same no matter where you launch it from. So I'm currently logged in as a super user, so I have this add need, add evidence, but normally um, any other type of user wouldn't see that. They would just have this list here for the needs and evidence. So these are just ones I've added as, uh, as examples for this demo. In production, I don't believe you have any um, needs or evidence set up yet, but depending on if you're going to use this, um, you can customize what would be listed as the needs and evidence. So um, depending on which student I've added, it'll have their name here. And then you can select the needs. So this would be um, the concern that you have about the student. So for example, if you have, um, if you wanna create an intervention strategy based on their attendance, uh, you can select attendance. And then evidence would be the data set that um, kind of proves the, the need. So for example, the, there are based on their attendance records, you'd want to create an intervention for their attendance needs. But we have, these are the other options here. So it could be based on their um, report card language mark or their um, progress report. Um, if you want to, if you have academic concerns based on those, you could also select that. So it really depends how you want to set these up. Then the intervention, so this would be the description, so the strategy you'll be um, using to address that need that you've selected. So um, whatever your intervention plan is. And then you have the option here, intervention done at school, home, or both. So if it's just something that's going to be done within the school, if it's something that's gonna be done um, in cooperation with the parents, you can select school and home. Uh, and then you have your start date, so you can select from the calendar, and then review by. So the review by date is important because um, on this date, the person that who that created the intervention will receive a notification, just reminding them that they have the, an intervention that needs to be reviewed. So if I select the 29th, um, that means on the 29th, I'll get an email saying that I have interventions to be reviewed. And then I can show you what the review process looks like. So I've just added an intervention. So if I go into intervention strategies, I'm able to see this intervention here. Um, and then you have all your filters here. So you can filter the, the full list based on the need, the evidence, grade, whether it's done at home or school, um, and months. So you can select all months. That would be for the current school year. Um, or you can filter on a certain specific month. Um, and then show only pending would show um, 
interventions that have reached this review by date but haven't been reviewed yet. So that's what the um, what this setting would do. So then on the review by date, the person would get a notification so they can come into here and then select this edit button. So it'll show everything that's been input for the student and then at the bottom, um, there's these new sections so you can add student evidence based on the results of the intervention. And then you'll have two questions here. So these two questions will determine um, how the intervention record is color coded. So the first question is, was the intervention successful? So that just means, um, did the student respond well to the intervention strategy or was improvement seen over the course of the intervention in relation to um, the need identified? So for example, um, has their attendance improved? Um, you can say yes or no. And the second question would be, is the student recovered according to the need? So if you were to select yes, that means that that need that you selected is no longer a concern. Um, but you can also select no, so that would mean that it was partially successful. So that would mean you can select yes for the first question, but no for the second. So then that could indicate that um, the intervention strategy should be reviewed again at a later date. So you can change this review by date. So then you can get a, another, another notification, um, say in two or three weeks time to review it again and see if it's, if you've seen any more improvements. Um, or, it, or you can um, continue this intervention maybe in parallel with another one. So if I were to select yes and no, you also have your option here to um, input the justification. So that would just be the explanation of why you selected um, how you answered the, the last two questions. So once I save, then you'll notice it changes the color coding. So yellow would be partial success. So that means I answered yes to one of the questions and no to the other. Um, fail would be if I had selected no for both. So if I had selected that the intervention was not successful, it would show up as um, red. Success would be if I had, had selected yes for both of those questions so that the intervention was successful and the student is recovered. Um, and then gray would mean that um, this review by date that I had set has passed and I haven't completed this review saying if it was successful or not. So the gray indicates that it needs to be reviewed. Um, and then if it, if it were white, that means that it's kind of a new intervention. It hasn't reached that review by date, so it's um, still in progress. Uh, and then you have the option to edit delete here. And then it also shows up on the student profile. So if I go to student profile, there's this tab here for inter interventions. So then you can edit the, the intervention from here as well. And you could see any previous interventions that have been applied for the student. Um, in any previous year. So uh, were there any questions about uh, as far as the interventions? <laughs> 